Loading Fox Operating System. Welcome Moto HK. Always ride safe. Here is the weather today. It is going to be sunny and hot. What's up guys? Moto HK here. Hope you are safe and well during these tough times. In this episode, I'd like to share with you my mobile phone or GPS setup for my Ducati Supersport and Vespa Sprint Note. Technology has advanced so much in today's world that you can literally have the power of the internet right in your pocket. In the past, you needed a dedicated GPS unit like the Garmin Zumo, which doubles as a TPMS. But if you've been watching my videos, you can have a very nice Bluetooth TPMS with your phone and use a GPS app to get around. This is why I think getting a phone mount for your motorcycle is one of the most practical and useful upgrades you can do for your bike. Just make sure you still pay attention to the road and don't get distracted. While there are a whole lot of phone mounts that you can choose from at the Changge in Green Hills or even online in Lazada or Shopee, these cheap phone mounts are mostly made in China and have questionable quality control. I don't have anything against these cheap phone mounts, and some of them are actually good value if you are on a tight budget. But when you are reaching speeds of more than 200 km per hour in your motorcycle, you want the peace of mind of a high quality phone mount. You want something that is heavy duty, will last a long time, and backed by a reputable manufacturer that stands behind their product with lifetime warranty. Trust me. You don't want your mobile phone to fly away while you are riding and get destroyed when it hits the pavement because you cheaped out on your phone mount. You already spent your hard-earned money on your phone which has your contacts, photos, and video memories which are impossible to replace if you lose your phone and didn't get a chance to back those files up in the cloud. Introducing RAM mounts. RAM mounts are probably the most rugged mounting solutions that you can get for phones, tablets, cameras, GPS systems, and even laptops. They use an interchangeable ball and socket system and use high quality materials that protect against shock, vibrations, and have a non-slip functionality. They are quick to install, durable, and are made in the USA, baby. They have been making mounts for 25 years and are used by US police and military, so you know they are built tough. So what RAM mount did I use for my Ducati and Vespa? There are a lot of RAM mount choices for motorcycles and you need to check what are the mounts compatible with your bike, and then just pick the one you like. I wanted my phone to be at the center of my handlebar so that I can quickly glance on it, and it also looks good with the bike. RAM mount has a fork stem ball base mount that is perfect for this, and this was the mount I used when I had my Honda CBR500R. Unfortunately, Ducati motorcycles have a special steering stem nut, which is hollow and is not compatible with the fork stem mount. But Moto HK is stubborn and I didn't want to put my phone in any other location other than the center of my handlebar. So what I did was, I ordered a special GPS mount from Bike Pen R, which is machined from solid state aluminum and replaces the stock steering stem nut with a custom GPS mount. I then took a RAM GoPro adapter and used the ball part to replace the GPS portion of the Bike Pen R mount. The hole of the RAM mount is too small. You need to make the hole larger. I needed to dremel and drill part of the ball adapter to make it fit. Be careful when using power tools. Always wear protective equipment. Moto HK is not responsible if you screw up. But in the end, I was very happy with the result. Good job. You can use the stock screw that came with the bike pin arm mount to attach the ram ball. The dremel smooth in the base of the ram ball making it fit nicer. The only thing left is to install that mount onto my body. The next task was to replace the stock Ducati steering stem nut with a custom part. For this, I went to my Ducati dealer in Alabang who had trained Ducati mechanics who can help me. Replacing the steering stem nut is not simple because it requires to take out the whole top triple clamp of the motorcycle and you need to unscrew the steering stem nut with a special tool. The steering stem nut sets the preload of the head bearings, so it is advisable to have professional Ducati mechanics be the one to do this. This was certainly a lot of time, effort, and money just to get this set up. Was it all worth it? Well, for me it was. 
Unfortunately, I am a perfectionist, and when my heart wants something, I can't sleep well until it's perfectly done right. This is definitely the best mount setup for the Ducati Super Sport in my opinion. And for those of you other Ducati owners, I left links in the description on where you can find the custom steering stem nut. I got mine from EPM Performance, and shout out to Klaus for the assistance in making sure I get the right model. The Vespa was a different story. The Vespa Sprint did not have a lot of places where you could put a phone mount, and it took me a while before I found a mounting position which I liked. I first took the Ram mount motorcycle base with the 9mm hole, and I wanted to put this through the base of the Vespa's side mirrors. In order to install the Ram mount, remove the Vespa mirrors by using a wrench. The threads on the right mirror are clockwise to tighten and counterclockwise to loosen. However the threads on the left mirror are reversed. Be careful when removing the mirror because there are two small washers which could easily get lost. However, the 9mm hole was not big enough to allow the Vespa mirror base to fit through. The Vespa mirror has two sets of threads which the ram mount needs to clear. The bottom is 8mm in diameter while the top is 12mm. The ram mount has a 9mm hole and will be able to clear the bottom thread. However, the ram mount will not clear the top thread. What will you do? I measured the width of the Vespa's mirror base and drilled a bigger hole so I could fit the mirrors through the mount. I just want to say that this was not easy because the ram mount base was made of powder-coated aluminum. So it was definitely a lot of effort to drill through that hole. The other problem I needed to solve was how to tighten the Vespa's mirrors when I attached the mount. The Vespa has a special mirror stem nut that is used to tighten the mirrors so they don't move around. I couldn't use these anymore when I used the ram mount. In order to tighten the mirrors, I needed to get two hex nuts with specific sizes so I could use them to tighten the mirrors in place of the stock Vespa part. The top hex nut is 12mm diameter with 1.5mm pitch, while the bottom hex nut is 8mm diameter with 1.25mm pitch. Make sure you get the right hex nuts, otherwise they will not fit. Since I was a perfectionist, I wanted both mirrors to be symmetrical, and thus, I also did the exact same steps for the left mirror. However, take note that the Vespa Sprint's mirror threads are reversed for the left mirror. The right mirror threads are clockwise to tighten, while the left mirror threads are counterclockwise. In order to make this clear, I have put the hex nut sizes in the screen for you. Good luck in finding these hex nuts, as the reverse ones are pretty rare. Again, it took a lot of time, effort, as well as trial and error to get this setup, but I was very happy in how it turned out. This is definitely the best setup for the Vespa Sprint. I agree. Thank you for upgrading me. Each of the three Fujitsu A64FX processors is now able to process beta scale operations using the Fox version 2 operating system. You can address me by my code name. Magi. Assault mode on. Happy hunting.